This old guy DIY video has to do with replacing the little spreader piece in a Scott's Handy Green 2 seed spreader. So this thing has this little part in the middle that turns when you turn the crank and it's supposed to have a glorified T on it. So when you turn the crank, the seed gets distributed and then it comes out the little slot over here. And you can see that there is no T piece on there. So what I'm going to do now is take a Dremel tool and just cut a little notch at the side. And then I'm going to take this JB Weld steel stick and make a piece about the size of half of a Tootsie Roll. This is a two part material that you need onto itself. And then when all the color is the same and there are no streaks in it, you form it around whatever you want to form it around and a couple hours later, it's there and stuck forever. So the reason to come down here and hit it with the Dremel is I want to cut a notch into one side. So once that piece of stuff is formed in there, there's no opportunity for it to move up or down. It should stay there for the rest of this little tool's life. So I'll make it happen and show you what it looks like. This is the Dremel with the cutting wheel that I use. I came down in here and I just cut two grooves, one on each side into that little sub shaft. When you take the little cap off the steel stick, it looks like a round fig newton. So I just cut a little chunk of material off with a knife. Now I'm going to knead this together until it's all the same color. And I'll come in here and just pack it around this thing so it looks like a little lima bean sitting on there. We'll let it dry for 24 hours and this thing will be good to go for the next 30 years. Now the little nugget is one consistent color. So I'll go ahead and form that around the shaft and we're almost done. I wouldn't say it's perfect by any means. Perfect is a big word, but that's what it looks like. So it moves freely. I'll let this set up for about 24 hours. Actually, it won't be used for another six months. So I think this will last for the lifetime of the tool. Thank you for watching. It's a little $2 fix and have a great day.